The last section of the magazine template setup is the category blocks area. Let's get started with the setup. The category blocks area allows you to show a set of selected categories. When you create a post, you're given the option to add the post as a category. When we create a new post, we'll find the category selection on the right side of the post creation page. You can create blocks of content that cover a specific topic in this way. For the magazine template, in the Category Blocks section, Suffusion allows you to display selected categories. The categories, when displayed, include the category name and excerpt. Also, an optional thumbnail image area is located above the title area. If you're using a plugin called Category Icons, you can display an image with each of your categories. For this video, I've installed the plugin and will be using it to spice up the category listings as we progress with this section. First, we'll choose to show the categories, and next we'll set the main title for the Categories section. I'm going to title mine Internet Success Library. Here, you can choose to position the title on the left, center, or right. We're going to leave ours on the left. One reason why I like to leave my titles and navigation on the left-hand side of the web page is that research shows that people view a majority of a page starting from the top left side of a web page. Their focus nearly always remains on the left-hand side of the page. So positioning important content on the left has a higher likelihood of keeping someone engaged. Always use this type of research and information to your advantage. Next, we're going to choose what categories we want to show in the Categories section. Let's select all of them and then uncheck the Uncategorized category. Here, we'll set the number of category blocks that will be in each row. For now, let's set this to three category blocks per row. Later, when we add image icons and tweak a few other things, we'll change this. Here, we can adjust the category title and its placement. This is the title that will sit above each category in the row, so there will be three of these in each row above its respective category. Let's set the title to center above the category content. This is where we can add image icons to the category blocks if we've installed a plugin called Category Icons. We're going to set this to always hide category icons for now, but in the next video, we'll take a look at how the addition of icons is accomplished. We're going to skip this setting for now since we'll cover it when we review the image icon setup. Next, we'll choose to show the category description and then we can check Show Posts if we want. For now, we'll check Show Posts. Here, we'll set the number of posts that we want listed on each category block. Let's set this to four posts. This section allows us to set some text under the posts that the reader can click on to get a full list of articles from the respective category. These settings allow you to customize the post display styles. Here, we'll set ours to the basic magazine style for now. This setting is for the display of thumbnail images that are contained in the post excerpts. If you set the thumbnail image to display above, here you can set the size of that thumbnail image. Since I've set the thumbnail images to not display for this video, these settings are not applicable. This setting allows you to set the length of the excerpts that are displaying in each category block. This is also applicable only if you've set the excerpts to display in the above settings. The final setting allows you to set the position of the See All Posts button. We'll set this to show just below the excerpt. Now let's save the settings and take a look at the web page and see how all of these settings will affect the visual appearance of the page. So we've completed the setup of the Category Blocks section and we're going to take a look at that now, comparing the settings side by side with what the Category section looks like. Okay, a couple things I want to show you here. First off, we've already completed the excerpt section and the headline section. This is the headline section and the excerpt section here. And next we have the category section. And what the category section does is it creates a block for each of the categories that you have on your website. And actually you can choose which categories you'd like to set here. Um, a category is created under posts when you hover over posts and then you'll see a caption here that says categories. When you click on that, 
it takes you to a page where you actually create categories that will become like subtopics within your website okay when you post an article you can you can attach that article to specific categories and so this block this categories block basically allows you to compile blocks of content together that people can readily access okay so we've set it we've set our web page to show the categories and so we can see each category set here um, and we've just titled this a random title internet success library and you can see that here I've I've used a child theme to modify the color of this title and also the background and we'll be learning more about child themes later child themes give you much more control over the customization of the look and feel of your website okay next we've uh, we have the main title alignment and you can see here that the title is aligned in the center this can also be aligned to the left or to the right and that's accomplished here you can select which categories you want to show in this on this page um, one drawback to uh, to the magazine template is you can only create one magazine template so for instance if you wanted to have one page with selected categories you can only do that using the magazine template on one page um, there is another method to create alternative magazine template pages and I'll cover that in a later video and what that is is actually using what are called ad hoc widgets and you can basically set up a page to look exactly the way you want it to look and really highly customized using ad hoc widgets okay so we've we've selected all of the categories for now and so you can see all of these categories listed over here and we've set this maximum number of categories per row we've set it to three and so you can see that I have three categories on each row we're at this point I've set the category icons uh, to to be hidden always and the reason why I did that is I wanted you to see what the category block section looked like without the icons and then with the addition of the icons you'll see just how just how much it adds to the to the look and feel of these category blocks you can kinda get a feel for that up here this is the excerpt section and these are not category blocks but basically I've set a featured image to show with each one of these but I'm using I'm gonna be using some of these same images down here when we set up our category block icons in the next video um, you can see here that I've set to show the description for the category blocks and you can see those descriptions here this category provides you with tips and ideas for e-commerce implementation okay let's continue on um, have set this up to show the latest posts in the category blocks okay so what you see here is you see each post that's that's been placed in these categories will show okay next you can see the maximum number of posts in the category I've set to four so basically in this section you'll see four posts in here depending on how many posts you have in the in the section right now I, I don't have very many posts created but you can see here here's four posts in the resources category okay so next you can see here this is the text that will show that you can click on basically you can see it over here when you uh, want to read an article or you can click on this specific article but this button will actually take you to a page that shows you all the posts for this category and if you click here this will take you to a page that shows all the posts for product development uh, same thing with each category when you click this it takes you to a specified categories page for each of the selected categories you've picked okay and this is set up right now with the magazine style what this does is it it put it posts a highlight with a box around it and so basically what you're seeing here you see this box around it it's just the style of of your magazine template okay and then next you can you can set the thumbnail size in the category blocks 
and right now these settings really are not applicable because I don't have any thumbnails set to show. If you have set your um, your category blocks to show the excerpts then you'll you'll get 15 words within each excerpt. Right now I have this set just to show a highlight and so you're not seeing any of the specific excerpts at this time. You're going to get a little bit different look and feel for each one of these settings and so you need to play around with these and see which one that you like the best. And then here you can see we can set the button uh, for see all posts. You can set that at a different spot. You can set it just below the excerpt or you can set it at the bottom of the excerpt. So instead of being up near the, the text, it would be down here at the bottom. In the next video, we'll finish our review of the magazine template setup by looking at the category icon setup for the category block section of the magazine template.